Hello my loves, we are here today and I'm going to be doing a kind of like Q&A slash FAQ type videos all about journaling, personal stuff, all the in-between and I got a bunch of it from a lot of the comments that I see every single day and then also DMs I get on Instagram, also anything that you've asked me in like the community tab. So that is what we are here doing today. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first off, we are trying a new hairstyle today. I am unsure about it. We will see if I like this or if I'm editing it and I'm like, why did I do that to my hair? Anyways, let's get to the first question. This first question is, how do you come up with your journaling prompt? So when it comes to my journaling prompts, I typically will do things based on either what all of you have answered in the poll. So sometimes I'll put out a poll in the community tab, so be sure to check that often. And whatever y'all choose is the topic that I typically go with. And then I kind of make up my own prompts based upon that. So I'll go through my old videos and watch those. Sometimes I'll go to Pinterest and kind of look at like what other people are feeling on that topic. And then I just draft them out myself and I pick out the best ones that come within the draft of that. So that's pretty much how I come up with them. It's all in the in the brain most of it some is inspired by y'all some is inspired by pinterest some is inspired by me just going through what i'm going through at the time there is that that's how i get my journaling prompts <laughs> moving on to our next question which is what should i do after shadow work journaling a lot of the time you'll hear me at the end of that session and my voiceover will be like make sure you do a lot of self-care self-love a routine where you really take care of yourself and i think that's the most important thing when it comes to what you should do after shadow work because when it comes to shadow work especially some of my journaling prompts a lot that has been repressed and a lot that is in your subconscious comes alive and a lot of people don't know how to deal with that i mean i even at times don't know exactly what to do after i've finished a journaling session so most of the time i will meditate after a session or even meditate before and after a session just to really release and clear my mind i also love taking a shower after i journal i know that's like a little bit weird but i feel like even that space for me is like a safe space where i can be with my thoughts and kind of release them also just to be sure to talk to somebody somebody that you trust about maybe things that have came up during those journaling sessions i also highly recommend not doing shadow work sessions back to back to back when i think of doing shadow work journaling or anything with shadow work i really try to keep it to like once a month a twice a month thing and that's why you'll see i don't post those videos super frequently because i really want you to process what has maybe come up within that session and really work it with yourself so moving on to the next question that i have seen a lot which is what should i do if i get stuck while i'm journaling and i'm a huge person that is totally okay with you hitting pause on that video because i know sometimes watching that timer go down you're probably like oh my gosh i'm running out of time I'm running out of time because sometimes i feel that way and if you are feeling that and you're stuck on a certain prompt pause the video let your mind work it out i also have said to meditate before you journal it's a really really best practice when it comes to clearing your mind and making sure you are in the right mindset and you are present when you are journaling if you get stuck totally okay totally normal pause the video think it out release whatever is coming to mind and don't stress on what the prompt is saying anyways moving on to the next frequently asked question the next one is how often should i do shadow work journaling and i think i kind of answered that in the other shadow work question but my advice is at least once a month maybe twice a month but really kind of figure out how you are feeling. If you are still having thoughts about the last session you did, take time, do other journaling sessions. I have so many different ones that all of you can use. Just go on my channel, go through the playlists or click whatever is up here, click whatever is at the end of this video. These are all the different topics that I have. There's so many for you to choose and work on. But again, I strategically upload my journaling videos in a way for you to just follow along through the process. And so every time you see a shadow work session, it's probably gonna be once or twice a month, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. A lot of you have asked, what kind of journal do you have? I 
literally don't know. So if you didn't watch my last journaling video, you probably didn't hear this, but I have filled up this entire journal, like pages, writing, everything. I mean, it's all filled out, everything. Everything is filled out. I don't know what this journal was, um, but I did get a new one, and this is a like leather bound journal. I I'm pretty sure it's like pleather, but I just like these type of journals because they're sturdy and after so much use, it's still intact. Let me look through my YouTube. Hold on. Let me see if I put that. If you guys actually didn't know, I do have some FAQ questions way down in my description box but i know a lot of people don't read them because i'm a creature of that where i don't read other people's description boxes most of the time um oh okay i did find it so in like my little faq a person has asked if i could put it like in my description box what it's called is a fringe journal but that's what it is i guess the next question that I have gotten asked a lot also is where did you get your journal so if you know me I am a very 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 budget-friendly gal okay I don't like balling out on things um, although I feel like I should be able to ball out on my journal because I use it so much but I have always gotten back to my budget-friendly roots and I have got both of these from TJ Maxx this one was literally seven dollars very inexpensive it had over, oh my God, does it say how many pages? Oh, 192 pages in this thing for $7. And then this one, I don't know how much this one was. Let me see. This one was $10 and this is, I don't know how many, I don't know how many pages in the, is in this one, but this was only $10. So again, these are like very, very budget friendly journals. You don't need to ball out on an expensive journal. Go to TJ Maxx, go to Home Goods. That's where I got mine. <laughs> but anyways, moving on to our next question. And I get this question a lot. I see it in the comments a lot. A lot of like, is this normal? Is this normal? Is this normal? And so the one that I do see a lot is like, is it normal to cry after shadow work journaling sessions or journaling sessions in general? And yes, it, it is normal. Anything you feel is completely valid and normal. I don't want you any of you to take it super personal based on your own emotions everything you're feeling completely normal completely valid the next question i have seen before it's not like super asked a lot because but <laughs> i have seen it before people ask me this all the time and it is how old are you and i am 24. i know i i look 12. um i know i look very young but but i just have a little baby face but I am 24, that is how old I am. Next question is, do you have an Instagram? I see this a lot. I saw this in my live chat the other day. And yes, I have an Instagram. It is also in my description box, but again, I know, I know. It, it's easy to miss the description box. It's easy, it's, you just scroll and it's gone. So <laughs> my Instagram is this. I try to pop it up in each of my videos, but yes, I do try to post on there as frequently as I can, but as all of you know, I am a full-time college student. I also work part-time and I also do YouTube in my free time. So <laughs> trying to incorporate other social media platforms has been kind of what I've been working on. So you'll see me here and there post on there. I don't post as often on my feed as I want to, but I'm typically on my story a lot and I always answer any DM that I get sent. So feel free to like hit me up on there. I'm always on it. I always answer comments on here as well. Moving on to the next question that I see a lot is, where do you get your crystals, sage, etc.? So you'll probably see in a lot of my videos, like my candle that I always have, my positive energy candle. You'll see my crystals that I have. You'll also see like maybe me like doing some sage and Palo Santo and all of that. So I got all these things at different metaphysical shops um, in my town. Pretty much just Google a metaphysical shop near you and you can go and find all these things. My first time ever going to one, it was an amazing experience. I felt very at home. I felt very drawn to a lot of things. And typically when you're drawn to certain things, you should just grab them, get them. 
it's calling you. Um, so follow that type of strategy when you go into a metaphysical shop. Those are all of the questions that I see a lot or I've seen recently that I haven't been able to answer in as much detail as I wanted to. So I thought today it would be just super helpful for all of you to really hear me say these aloud rather than read it in the comment section somewhere or have to go and find maybe where the answer to this question would be. So I hope all of you really enjoyed this. If you want more just kind of you asking me things, more sit down videos like this, feel free to comment that down below. Also, if you have any journaling questions, do not be afraid to comment them. Even if I have said them in this video, it's totally okay. I love answering your questions. I just want to let you know that my Instagram is always open. So DM me if you ever need anything or if you just want to chat, I am always open to that. But yeah, that is all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe down below, and of course, leave a comment because I love talking to all of you. <laughs> all right, that is all for today. I will see all of you next Wednesday. Love you. Bye.